Hello and welcome to Wascoe. Today is Thursday, August 11th, and we did a Costco run today. Um, we did stop briefly at Target for one grocery item and then some back to school basics for our kids. Um, we spent a lot of money at Costco, but about a third of it was for stuff that was for the dogs and um, a surprise gift for some upcoming holidays um, this winter. So um, those don't go towards our grocery total. Um, I did realize after watching through this that we did forget to get corn dogs, and I promised my son I would buy him corn dogs at Costco. So I may have to go back, but maybe I can push that out at least another week. So we'll see. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and happy watching. Hello and welcome to Oscoe. We did a gigantic Costco run today. Today is the 10th of October. Uh, 11th. Today is the 11th of October. Um, it barely fits on our counter and there's a lot of frozen stuff so I'm going to put this stuff away pretty quickly. But we've been basically out of everything um, and our total ended up being um, $667.60 but we did buy a ton of stuff that is not included in our grocery total including one Christmas present which will not be filmed for surprise reasons, a um, bunch of dog stuff and um, some clothes. Um, my kids are of course growing like weeds and it's back to school clothes buying season. So I did get my son an outfit and I got myself some like loungy pants for hanging out around the house. Um, they were both on sale. So we did get um, three of these uh, dog toy packs. Our puppy is going through toys like crazy and this pack um which they love these these costco ones they are true osco family <laughs> members because they love costco dog toys just as much as we do um how much were these they were six dollars and 97 cents which is on clearance so we got three of them um they will not last as long as you think they will usually they can go through a pack like this in a week or two um just because with some really intense chewers but it's way cheaper to buy them these than the other ones I did post a link on my Twitter the other day for the um, I think they're outward hound the gigantic hedgehog that I bought them for five dollars it was seriously like the size of this watermelon um, and I don't like those though because they leave a huge mess and these they leave some fuzz but it's not as bad as those big hedgehogs which are basically a watermelon filled with fuzz so um, let's go over some of the other stuff that I bought. Um, I'm trying to keep my hand out of here. Some dog treats. We're working on tr um, training. These were on coupon. And then these duck ones. The Our George can't have chicken. Um, so we bought duck and then these bacon nutty ones um, for training for both dogs. Mostly for Luna, but for both dogs. And I'm going to try out this shampoo. Um, I have a coconut allergy. I didn't really have a chance to look through the whole list of ingredients, but my daughter um, needs some shampoo and conditioner, so I'm gonna try these for her. Um, and I think that's it for what's on this counter as far as um, non-grocery items. We did buy a bag of dog food, which is about $40. I think it's around, I think it's 38 or so for the total. And then we bought a case of sparkling water, which is not pictured. And then we spent some money on some Christmas stuff and then clothes, which are not pictured. So I'll get the total at the end of um, everything that was not part of the grocery total. But I'm guessing we spent around $400 on groceries today, which is a lot, but it still keeps us within our $600 budget. Remember our budget for July or August, oh my God, it's already August, was $600 and um, we were at, uh, I think we were at just under 200 last time I checked. So I think we'll be really close to that. And honestly, $600 for a family of four plus my daughter. We did buy some things for my daughter as well. My oldest daughter, I mean, my um, adult child who's out of the house. But 
that's pretty good, especially since we have a lot of food allergies and we have um, one kid that has a ton of food sensitivities, like there's very limited things that he, that they eat. So I think we did okay. Um, let's see if I can go through this price. So the dog food is $37.99. The sparkling water was $10.99, the Kirkland brand, which they had been out of. Um, so we were lucky to find it. It's usually $8.99. Um, let's see, what else? She reorganized stuff. The duck treats were $9.39 and then the other ones were $7.59, these bacon ones. So that was actually a pretty good deal. All right, I'm gonna um, pause this and then remove some of these things so that I can film the other stuff. So give me a second. All right, I guess I just basically removed the dog treats. This, the receipt is so long that I can't really hold it and look at prices. So we got some um, beef chuck. I don't know if you can see that. We're going to try and expand our horizons. We have, I realize we haven't been cooking a lot, so we're going to try and cook some of this. Um, and we got two whole chickens. Um, we're going to roast one on the grill, and then the other will probably freeze, and then we'll cook in the oven at a later date. We did get a watermelon. I do remember how much the watermelon was. It was $8.99. Um, we've just been almost, we've been pretty low on fresh fruit and produce, so... We bought another bag of peas. We're down to our last bag, and I like to have one stashed in the cupboard for in case they run out because this is the only vegetable my picky eater will eat. These were $8.99, and they are five pounds a piece of organic peas for $8.99. Uh, we're almost out of cream. Um, Mr. Oscoe, my husband, used a bunch of it in his sausage making, which I will get posted it's filmed. <laughs> I have not had a chance to post it on my channel, so I'll post that. Um, tomatoes for lunches. My son has been asking for these sugar snap peas, which is highly unusual of him. So um, we finally found them. They've been out for a couple months. So if he doesn't eat them, the rest of us will. We're low on coffee, and I'm going to be putting coffee back in our grocery budget because I realized we weren't really spending a whole lot on it, and we aren't going out. We were out of Z-bars, so I bought some more Z-bars. We're low on seaweed, um, so I bought it. And then these drumsticks were on sale. I don't remember the price, but we've gone through so many popsicles type things this summer. It's just insane. So we haven't been doing our big buy of pizzas because they haven't been on sale, but we're out of cheese pizza. We have one left for this Friday, but since we weren't gonna go back for a while, we got a pack of cheese pizzas and then these gluten-free um, Supremes, which are my absolute favorite. Um, we've been out of bacon. I think I've talked about that on the channel quite a bit. So I bought more bacon, and we bought these Healthy Choice bars. Um, we're almost out of popsicles, which is crazy. And then we got more of these grass-fed Polish sausages. Um, these are actually really good, and they're a lot healthier than, like, hot dogs. So, um, and they're gluten-free. So we get these um, as, like, a hot dog-type meat for our kid who um, really only eats meat in a tube. <laughs> so the kids asked me for more of these Yasso yogurt bars, so we bought them, and then salami for lunches. We still have, this was on sale, it's just why we didn't wait to buy it, but it's good until October, it looks like, so it'll be fine um, through the end of September, which is probably how long this will last with the other one that we bought, but since it was on sale, we bought it again. Um, this is for lunches. And then, so these are actually from Target. We just did a quick stop in Target. Oh, my cord is getting caught up. Um, these are about $3, I think they're $2.99 for a pack. We're almost out of these cheeses. And then I, tr this is like probably the only impulse purchase I did, which is these little pupusa things. These, I don't know you guys, I've never had these before. They looked really good. They're gluten-free. They don't have any coconut in them, and I'm looking for easy stuff to make because I am. I have an announcement, which I'll announce later. But I'm going to be really busy this fall, so um, these look pretty healthy too. So I just I need stuff that's easy to eat. So I'm going to try these out. We weren't out of butter, but we were there, so I bought butter. Um, my son has been obsessed with chocolate-covered raisins, and I know that these are way cheaper than buying the sun-made boxes so we're gonna see they don't have any coconut so if he doesn't eat them I will eat them because I, I don't know I've been obsessed with raisins too I know raisins are a hot topic for many people don't like them but um, some of us in our house love raisins and some of us hate them I I I get I don't like them all the time sometimes they're very disgusting to me but 
sometimes I do go through phases when I really crave them and I wonder if it's because they're, they're a higher source of iron. They're not like really great source of iron, but they do have some iron in them and I've been struggling. I don't know if you've watched my other videos, I'm struggling to get enough iron, but see these have 6% of the iron 1.1 milligrams um, for 25 pieces so I'm wondering if that's part of why I'm craving raisins um, but these are you know there's so few gluten-free things that are sweet that I can eat um, so it's probably better if I'm eating raisins than candy although these are chocolate covered anyways I could talk about that forever but we got some fruit we're low on fruit so blackberries um, these baby cucumbers I thought would be good. My daughter and I both like to snack on these, so I got those. Green grapes. They had cotton candy and um, red grapes, but these were the only ones that were firm. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm super picky about how firm my grapes are. I won't eat them if they're soft. So I got these. They were all the same price. And then we got pepperoni. We've been out for a while, and it was on sale. And it's one of those things uh, our son will eat for in like a Lunchables, a homemade Lunchable. We're out of these. I only bought one bag because they're expensive, but we have a whole week and a half left of camp, and this is one of the only ways I can get them to eat some protein in the middle of the day at camp. Um, and we brought broccoli. I'm gonna have to check the price on this. So this is not this is not organic. It looks like it's regular broccoli, and it um, we usually only buy organic, but this is what they had. Looks like this is three pounds instead of the two pounds of organic. Um, and I'm gonna have to check the price on that because it's one of the things we've been kind of keeping an eye on. Um, this popcorn was on sale. I love this stuff. I haven't had it in months. Um, and then we did, we, we were out of chips. Well, we actually, we might not be all the way out, but I like to buy these every couple months a month. Or this is like, you know, we, we buy these. They're, they're just plain. They're just potatoes and salt, which I think it's better than a lot of the ones that have chemicals in them. So this is what we bought. Um, let me grab my receipt real quick just to see if we can, let's look at this broccoli price. So it was $6.49 for this broccoli and it's three pounds. So it's just over $3 a pound. And if I remember correctly, the, it's just over $2 a pound. Did I say two or three? I meant two. It's just over two dollars a pound. Um, the organic broccoli was three dollars a pound because it was six dollars the last time we bought it for three pounds or for two pounds. So this is a lot cheaper. It's not organic, but I would have gone to Winco and gotten not organic broccoli anyways. Um, it's still, I think, probably a little bit more pricey than it would have been if I had gone to Winco. So I think maybe tomorrow I'll be able to stop on the way home from. Um, helping out my family. Um, I think I might be able to see if it's cheaper per pound for the crowns. Um, but it seems to me like right around $2 a pound is about normal for regular, not organic broccoli. Um, and we did go through that two pound bag. I don't know if you guys remember, we bought that on the, the 20 and um, 31st, I think of July. And it's been out for a week. Like we eat so much broccoli. We'll probably have to buy another pack of broccoli we were talking about how we probably, with this much food, we probably don't need to go to the store for another month, but we will need to buy more of these cheeses if the kids are still into them. We'll need to buy more broccoli. We're kind of low on eggs, but I mean, we, I bought a bunch a couple months ago and I want to eat through them before I buy more. And then we'll probably need milk. Um, and we'll definitely need more cheddar cheese because remember we bought that small um, two and a half pound block of cheddar cheese this month instead of the five pound block. So, um, yeah, we're gonna, we'll be okay for at least a couple more weeks. Um, I'm not going to probably buy more popsicles for a while. I know I keep saying that, but I'm really surprised at how fast we're going through them, even though we're only eating one a day, but it just seems like we're going through them really fast. So I don't know if the boxes are smaller. They probably are. I mean, you know, companies are cutting costs. So I'm sure the boxes are smaller than they normally are. Um, it's probably what it is, but we're going through them really fast. So I think we'll be okay. This watermelon will last us a long time. We won't open it probably for another week or maybe even this. I don't know about this weekend because we've got to eat through these grapes first. And we do have some melon. My mother-in-law did drop off half a melon, um, but it's not the kind that I can eat. So my, my daughter basically is eating all of it. So thank you for watching. Um, 
please like and subscribe and comment you know i guess broccoli we can talk about broccoli again how much is broccoli at your in your neck of the woods um i'll put a total at the end i'll add everything up and look at it and then i'll see where we're at um we were talking about maybe not going back to the store until september it's the 11th so 20 days i don't anticipate needing to buy anything for school lunches um, I think I've got it covered at least for the first few weeks especially since we bought salami except I'll probably need to buy more of these cheeses um, I think they'll probably there's 12 in each of those and I think they probably will go through those in two weeks um, with camp next week but they only have one more week they have the rest of this week today's Wednesday or Thursday so they have today and tomorrow and then they have next week they have camp all day and then after that they don't so our lunches will be different for a couple weeks and then they go back to school right after Labor Day. So I'm not sure. I'm hoping that we can probably make it stretch until September, until after they go back to school. I would like, I'd prefer not to go over Labor Day weekend. I don't, unless we grill something, I don't think if we have people over. So I don't anticipate us needing anything for a while. Um, but I, <laughs> I don't want to jinx myself. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Um, as always, please like and subscribe and comment. Um, have a great day, and I hope that you are enjoying your summer. Thanks. Bye. Thank you for watching our grocery haul from August 11th, 2022. I know I said October in there, but clearly I'm already thinking of fall and school and everything because <laughs> I got the month wrong. Um, we went to Costco for most of it, and we actually um, – are. Our budget for August is six hundred dollars, and we, before this trip, we were at one seventy two fifty seven, and then our grocery total today was three sixty nine, eleven just at Costco, and then we spent another six dollars, I guess, at Target. So right now, we are at five eighty six eighty six. So we have about fourteen dollars or thirteen dollars left in our grocery budget, but I'm realizing that we did buy ice cream at Fred Meyer, and it's not included in that total. So I'm pretty sure that we are actually at our $600 right now. Um, this total, this $586.86, includes a couple of small uh, grocery store runs that I didn't film. Um, just because, you know, it was just like one or two items and we were kind of in a hurry. So I didn't really film them. I don't always film everything. Um, maybe my goal for next month for... September will be to film everything and maybe film some videos about what we cook in the weeks when we do these like big gaps in between but I'm not sure I don't I honestly don't know how people have time to do that because I we're so hectic in our house and the dog it gets loud the dogs are barking I can't hear myself think you know so I give really give props to people that are able to film their entire hauls after they and then what they cook from that. So like Frugal Fit Mom does it all the time and it's amazing. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Please like and subscribe and enjoy your summer.